So you want to add plugins to your Minecraft server? Well, the first step of that is actually getting a paper server. Paper is required in order to run a Minecraft server. How do you do that? Well, we've got our setup here, but we have an in-depth guide in the description down below on how to make a paper server. It goes over every single step of downloading, installing, and setting up paper for your Minecraft server. Super in-depth. There's even a video up here, and yes, it will be updated to 119.3 by the time you get to this tutorial. But nevertheless, that is a requirement in order to get plugins on your server. You can't add them to a Forge server or a vanilla Minecraft server. You have to have a paper bucket or spigot. You should get paper Minecraft server up and running in order to add plugins. Then you need to download some plugins. So here's our list of 15 must-have plugins for Minecraft servers. The goal of these is to be uh, kind of for everything, right? Some of these are going to be more survival-based. Some of these are going to be more everything-based. For example, I think Essentials can kind of be put on everything. Same thing for World Edit. Then some won't be the case. I also want to know here, I've actually done no testing. Normally I test everything before I get into these videos, but we're going to show you how to install these plugins. Some of them might not work. <laughs> and if that does happen, I do apologize, but we're just going to kind of work our way through it. Nevertheless, one of the things I do want to mention as well, for some reason, oh, I need to be logged in for this. There we go. We are now logged in. Now, some of these, like I said, may or may not work, but uh, we're going to try our best. And if we do, we'll just kind of troubleshoot along the way. But first off, Essentials X, I just pretty much recommend everyone having this. The unique thing about this, most plugins are hosted here on Spigot. They are also hosted on, let me find grief prevention here, some on Bucket. So do keep that in mind. Bucket is also 100% trustworthy. And if that's the case, you can go to File on Bucket and see all the different versions and what version stuff specifically made for here. But nevertheless, Essentials is unique in that it is hosted on Spigot. But if you click Download, it takes you off to a separate download page. And here we can go through all the different downloads and download everything. So Essential, the main one, we're also going to download Chat and Spawn. Those are my two favorites. Uh, this one's actually really cool as well. Essentials X Discord's one something they've recently added that is really really cool but nevertheless we're also going to download mcmmo we're going to download player warps one of my favorite minecraft plugins and then we're also going to go ahead and grab vault vault is basically a required plugin it's linked in the description down below for a lot of other minecraft plugins it's also one that you can download and still work in 1.19.3 even though it was last updated in 1.17 it is actively monitored it is actively developed and it is required for 99 percent of minecraft plugins and uh, just so you know if a plugin is says it requires another plugin and the plugin that needs the plugin, so like Essentials is required for Vault. Essentials is 1.19. Vault also works on 1.19 because it's required for that. So nevertheless, we can go ahead now and minimize our browser. All of our plugins that we downloaded are in our downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon, top of my screen, bottom of your screen, or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads, select the file explorer here, and then on the left hand side we can scroll down to this PC, click on it, and there'll be a downloads folder right there. Now we can drag and drop all of these to our desktop. Now installing these is actually super simple. All you need to do is open up your Minecraft server directory, and then drag and drop, and by the way this is the Minecraft server directory, the folder that has your Minecraft server in it, and then you'll have a plugins folder. If you don't, you don't have a paper server, so go create a paper server and you'll get this plugins folder. Then just drag and drop all of these plugins into your Minecraft plugins folder on your server, right like so. Then start your server. It's that easy. Then once your server started, it's actually kind of cool as well because you can see these directly from the console. We're going to test them in game and show you all that, but you can see them right here in the console loading right on in. That's not the only way though. Once everything is finished loading in, we can run a simple command and see all of the plugins. Wait for it. There we go. It is now finished. We can do slash plugins, or not slash plugins. We can type the plugins command in, and there they all are. If they're green, they're working, which is awesome. If they're red, they're not working. If they're yellow, they're partially working. You'll mostly see green working, red not working. Not working could mean it's not updated the correct version, or it could also mean that there is something else, like a dependency, like vault not being installed. But now we can go ahead and join the server. I'd also recommend opping yourself even not already. So type op in the console and then your username and hit enter. But here we can see that MCMMO is installed. Uh, one of the easiest way to test that is let's go uh, punch some grass. And if we get oh, air acrobatics, there we go. But if we punch some, uh, punch some stuff here, we should go ahead and start ranking up. I believe the excavator. See, that might not be working. For some reason, excavator, maybe we need a shovel. But acrobatics was working, so there we go. Something else that we might want to test is essentials. One of the cool things about essentials is you can do a slash set spawn. So let's go ahead and do that. And then the slash spawn command will now work. So if we go ahead and just randomly TP to a random area, right like so, we can do slash spawn and get back here instantly. Great stuff there. Adds in so much, by the way. Essentials adds in so much stuff to Minecraft. The other thing we added was player warps. So we could actually set a player warp, for example, if we wanted to go back to that random area here. We could do, um, 
Well, let's go ahead and uh, maybe get to somewhere where there's actually some land. Uh, there we go. This will work. So anyway, here we are. We can do slash player warp create, I believe, right? Or player warp set. And then we can do underground. Right like so. If I can type. There we go. So, oh, we can't have player warps longer than... There we go. That'll work. I right, we need $500. Eco, give, Nix Games, 500 we will do this, everyone. There we go. By the way, we can figure all that. We'll do that here in a second. But I just want to show you that everything is, in fact, working. So we can do spawn. Then we can do slash P warp under. But we can also open up the P warp GUI and see right there it is. Awesome stuff. So nevertheless, that is how you can kind of get that up and running. Plugins are installed. You can use slash plugins in game as well to be able to see all the plugins in game. But if you want to configure these, let's go ahead and do that. So we minimize this, minimize the console here. We can open up our server folder. Then if we go into the plugins folder, we'll see all of these different folders. Essentials has its own folders. CMMO, Player Warps, Vault, they all have their own folders. So let's say in Player Warps, so we go in here and we open up the config. Now, I used to recommend a text editor. Adam, rest in peace, it's now shut down. So I'd recommend the Visual Studio Code. It's a really in-depth, super high-end text editor for what we're going to be doing here, but it works very well. So nevertheless, you can download the video, Visual Studio Code, set that up. It's going to be a little overwhelming. Just kind of skip through everything. But then when you double-click on your YML file, it's going to open this and you'll be good to go. So nevertheless, in here, we can find where it's taking that money, where it's asking for $500 in order to use the player warp. Let's go ahead and search for cost. So as we can see, we've got all this like uh, text and stuff. Here we go. Max cost, 500. To disable that, we want to set it to negative one. We can go down through here and set all of these to negative one because uh, we don't want anything to cost anything in player warps. Obviously you can configure all of this and make stuff cost things if you want, but it is up to you and how you want to configure your server and have your players, you know, set things, right? Like we can also type for set warp and most likely it'll be somewhere in there as well. I just want to confirm we've changed the right thing. So one second, it hadn't been disabled. It's right here, set price. And we want to set this to negative one. Now there's so much stuff you can do. Be sure to save this as well with these plugins. For example, we can now go over into Essentials here and we can open up the config file and, and do things like define, like what the, you know, prefixes in chat and all sorts of stuff like that. It's insane what you can do because we have Essentials chat here. So we could come down here to Essential Spawn. That's where that's at. But if we want to go to Essentials chat one quick second, we can see the chat format and how it's displayed. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a bolded blue because it's going to be very easy to see colon into this and save it. So now if we go back into our server, we actually don't have to restart the server. These have reloads. So we can do slash PW reload. It's going to reload player warps. And now if we do a random teleport again, we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. And we can set this as a P warp underwater and it's going to be free this time. So P warp set underwater. Boom. There we go. And now this is set. We can also go ahead and use essentials and reload that. So slash essentials or reload. And then if we type in chat, boom, we now have a blue colon separating the message there. Awesome stuff. So there we have it. We have now set up our plugins, gone over configuring them. And I think that's everything you need to know. If you do want to know more about your plugins, guess what? We have an in-depth guide on a ton, 39 Minecraft plugins. It goes super in-depth here on tons of different plugins. We love making in-depth guides here. What pains us that YouTube is penalizing some of those guides, but luckily it's not penalizing these, right? So we're perfectly fine on these uh, plugin guides where we go super in-depth. So go check this out. Get your plugins set up using these guides because they cover everything. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. We make amazing, technical, in-depth Minecraft guides. But uh, yeah, enjoy the plugins on your server. We'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.